Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to update, delete or add images to the Cloud Navy. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the main file that is called index.js. So this is the folder structure, source. Then we have a index.js file where we have the app.listen part. Okay, whether which port it should be run. Okay, and this is the main file. If it is not, you can also skip this file. Just write down this app.listen file into your index.js file also, but it's okay. Okay, if it is environment production, then you require the dot .a env file and uh, here we have the uh, require the app where the app.js we have all the functionality over here so let's go to the app.js file okay so which we require the npm packages that is express morgan multi and the path okay then we have initializations express then we have a database that is mongodb so there is a connectivity over here so you have to in the source you have to create a file that is called database.js and put the code over here so this is basically the connectivity with the mongodb right next we have to go with again the app.js file here we have the set the port that is 3000 so the port is listening on the app.js index.js file right listen to the port right and here we are setting the port with 3000 so it depends you can also directly pass it over to it also so here we have the use the morgan dev express json express url encoded this is basically for the like accepting the parameters in the form of the url encoded or the json format now then we have a multi where we have to upload which is responsible for uploading the images okay so here we have the multi this storage public uploads and then we have to unlink unlink that uh, image when the, it is uploaded to the cloud nary it depends on to you so first we have to upload on the uploads then we can uh, shift it to the when it uploaded to the cloud nary then we will unlink this uh, file from the folder okay then we have a multi storage that is the image name is image okay then we have the routes and then module.exports app so check the routes so we have this one we have the images add then we have the images delete then we have our images update okay so let's go and check step by step what exactly it is so here we have the router right then we have the cloud nary so you have to install it with the cloud nary so here we have the cloud name api key and the api secret key cloud name you will get it from here in the account settings you will get the cloud name okay so here we have, here we have the cloud name and if you want the rest of the things like the api key and the api secret we have already uploaded the video regarding the how to get the api key and the api secret key in the cloud nary i think it you will get it from the dashboard when you logged in you will get it from it will be over here in the settings account right then we have a models okay so we have we have title description image url and the public id okay then we have exports model then that is photo then we have the API called images add what it does title description it accepts and the image. So we directly upload it to the cloud nary <coughs> and we have created a new photo object and uh, we have to save that into the database. Then we are going to unlink that image. Okay. And we are successing the message that image uploaded successfully. Just save it and try to run it. Okay. So here we have the post API. So here we have to, we, I need to upload the image. So I will go and just check out from the download. Okay, how to validate data from the joy. So just, I'm uploading this one. Send this one. Image uploaded successfully. Let's go to the Cloudinary and check this one. So here we have the new image. After this, we have to, how to validate the data using the Cloudinary. So you can see that how to validate data using the joy module in Node.js. So it is uploaded. So you can see that. And also in the MongoDB, you can see that where we have the data in the photos, we have the fourth record that is this one, Cloudinary image or the title and description is this one. Okay. You can also add one more to for the like new, new entity, the title and description. Title would be new upload.
test description we will set over here test description okay this is done let's send it oh, i haven't changed the image so it's uploaded let's see one more image is uploaded over here okay it's there and in the database it should be four records it's gonna be five records okay so it's uploaded right now we are going to delete this okay so let's go and check the delete part also so we have the get so you need to get the id which image you want to delete so here uh, first i will upload a something unique image so that we will able to get that image downloads <coughs> then we will use some of the image like customizing any message in the hook upload this image this is done let's check so i think it's uploaded over here customizing error messages using the hook now we are going to delete that image okay so let's take the id of the sixth one object id so this is my object id okay so let's try to add this in the delete part so here we have the get api for the delete so just add it okay and then send it so image deleted successfully as you can see that now the image customizing error message is deleted from the cloudinary also so it's not there and let's check the code level what exactly we have written down so here we have the code i think i have explained the images added if not then i can explain again so we have the title and the description so here this is the cloudinary v2 uploader so here you just need to add the request dot file dot path okay and here is the object for saving the data into the database then unlink and then we are sending the response okay status and the data with the message okay now we have the delete part so what we have to do is we are accepting the photo id or underscore id from the database and here we are finding find by id and remove so first we will remove from the database then we in the photo object we are getting the public id so we are sending to the public id over here and the cloudinary method is destroy to delete the object to delete the image so we have to just pass the destroy and it will delete that image and we will send the message like uh, image deleted successfully same now we are doing with the update okay so in the update part what we have to do we accepting the photo id again and then we will find that id okay and uh, we'll passing the public id to destroy first then we will upload that image and up then we will upload the image after uploading the image we will just update the database with that public id and the image url okay so this is the logic behind it so we have just updated it and just returning that image updated successfully else in the catch we are messaging that the field okay so this is the full fledged code of like updating deleting and let's check the update because i haven't updated that one so here we have the put for us updating the image so which image i want to update let's check so here we have the fifth image that is uh, this one new upload that is i think uh, validate the maybe both of them is there or we can use the first one let's check the cloudinary first one image is which one let's check the url and see which image we are going to delete this one validate the data using joy this is the same one okay so let's delete this one part okay so we have to pass the id over here so i'm going to pass the id so here we have the postman so this is id let's send it and the image is replaced by the ddp jpg okay so it should be dd jpg let's see this image is dd jpg so let's see so you can see that new image is updated so basically we have updated on the first one let's see the first image display what exactly it is so we have the first one block over here and let's see the image 
is it updated or not so you can see that the image is updated okay so this is how we are able to update the image read the image and upload the images to the cloud native okay so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day